Hey guys, welcome back to Hype RC. Today we have something that is absolutely groundbreaking in the world of RC. The last big one that I can think of was when we got brushless motors and LiPo batteries for our Surface RC cars to really step them up into the same class as the Nitros. Well, today we have something that is groundbreaking for Surface RC cars with transmitters and receivers. This is the new Radio Master NT12. This thing is absolutely amazing. It has the ELRS open source protocol in it, which is something you didn't even know you wanted, but you do want. So we're going to get this dude over to the bench, see exactly what comes out of the box, and then start talking about all the fine details of this thing. So stick around and check it out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see exactly what comes out of the box with our new Radio Master MT12. So it comes with a very, very nice case. That is deluxe. That is very high-end looking. And then we have a quick start guide and a really nice set of decals. Let's go ahead and take a look inside this case. So it is a double-sided case. And there is the remote itself. Oh, man, that feels fantastic. That feels very nice. That's got some weight to it. Super sharp looking. We'll get into that in a minute. And then it's got a nice storage area up here for some other things. Nothing in there. Just a couple. Ooh, it's got a screen protector. So it comes with a screen protector. That's nice. Oh, looks like we've got a quality control card. And then on the opposite side of our case, we have Radio Master. What do we have in this little guy here? So it looks like we have a very nice lanyard. And then we have the nano module connector for the front. And then we have the lower module with the joystick. That is super nice. Then we have a USB-C to USB-C 2 connector for charging up the remote. And then this is the other module with two three-way toggle switches on it. Wow. Very nice. Oh, one more thing. What else do we have? It looks like, oh, so we did get the ER3CI receiver with this. Very nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and take an up-close look at everything once we get it all out of the package. All right, guys, now that we got everything unwrapped and out of the box, let's take an up-close look at exactly what you get. So it does come with this very high-quality carrying case, which is extremely nice. It comes with a nice charging cable. It comes with a joystick expansion module, a double toggle switch expansion module. It comes with a nano expansion module, a screen protector, a very nice leather Radio Master lanyard, and then it does come with the ER3CI receiver with telemetry cable and then of course the mt12 itself and this thing is just absolutely amazing looking very high quality very very nice the only thing that this does not come with are batteries so i have chosen to go with the 18650 lithium ion batteries it also will take a typo but i prefer to have lithium ion batteries that will charge up with this charging cord so we're going to go over all the details of this remote one thing at a time stick around and check it out all right guys now that we've seen everything that comes directly out of the box let's go ahead and take an up close look at the hardware itself so we'll start off with the remote so on the top side here you have your 2.2 lcd screen a systems button page back button return button your power button your scroll wheel that also works as an enter button, and then your telemetry, page forward, and finally the model button. Now this does come with five trims on it. You have one, two, three, four, and up underneath here, forward and backwards, number five. It also comes with two proportional dials, one and two, and then some momentary switches. So you have one way up underneath here, one, one right next to your thumb, two, and then on the back here, three. And then that is the USB charging port for the 18650 lithium ion batteries. And then on the back side here, we'll remove the dust cover. And you can see here that we have a trainer port, a USB port, a 3.5 millimeter head jack port, an auxiliary port, and then finally an SD card slot that does come with a card to go ahead and start the memory saving functions on this remote. And you can expand that to a larger SD card. Then next, we're going to go ahead and take an up close look at the nano module and then the two expansion modules. 
Next, let's go ahead and talk about the nano expansion module. So on the top side of your remote, you're going to go ahead and remove this tiny dust cover, and then you're going to see where the pins from your nano module expansion go ahead and plug directly in. Now, it does have two detents on the side, and it will clip directly on. Now, I do not actually have a nano module to plug into this yet, but I will be purchasing the 4-in-1, which will allow me to have the ELRS and the 4-in-1 on the same remote, which is an absolutely amazing feature because you'll be able to run the ELRS and then go ahead and tune in to any other receivers that you have with this expansion. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the two expansion modules that come with this. So the first one is a double toggle switch. Very nice, very crisp, very well made. And then the one that I think is super cool is this four-way joystick, which is absolutely awesome. To install these, you're going to have to take off the bottom battery cover. And then there's a little tab in here, and you push it forward, and it pops this one off. And then you're going to want to feed this wire all the way through to the bottom of the remote. And then this should pop right in. And then you can see where this plugs into this port right here on the bottom. And you're going to tuck that wire in because your battery is going to go in on the top side of that. But this is a super cool expansion. You get two of them that come with the remote. So let's go ahead and talk about the physical adjustments on this remote. So this remote actually comes with three physical adjustments. The first one is to be able to set the tension of the wheel right here. And then on the trigger, there's two. You can set the tension in the middle, and then you can actually set the position up here at the top. Now, both of these run on hall sensors. And what that means is it's taking your physical input and it senses it with a magnetic field, which is very high precision and very fast. That's very high end quality electronics inside this remote. I really love this three-way switch as well. That's just a great placement to be able to use it with your thumb. And then the antenna on the front here actually adjusts by 90 degrees so considering your position to your RC, you can adjust that to get better reception. But just all the features of this remote are super high end. So let's go ahead and talk about the software of this remote. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the software on our RadioMaster MT-12. So this is set up with the Edge TX open source firmware. That means this is going to be able to be updated and upgraded over time. It already has a huge amount of user interface adjustability. So when we power on the remote, you're going to hear the speaker and it also has vibration. Welcome to Edge TX. Stop. Very cool. So this is our front page. It's going to show your servos turning. It's going to show your potentiometers. It's going to show the throttle and the brake. So just a ton of user interface. I absolutely love this. So here's how you find your different models. You can scroll down, pick which model you want. Then if you go into the page setting, there's 11 different pages. So we have our setup page. We have our driver's mode. We have our inputs. We have our mixes. We have our outputs. We have our throttle curve. We have our logical and switch setup page. Then we have our special functions. This is where you can change the LEDs to different colors for different settings. Then we have our telemetry page. And last, we have our display page, which is where we started. So we can go to the return button and go back to the main page. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to set up and bind something from this screen. So all right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to bind up your Radio Master MT12 with Express LRS to the ER3CI receiver that comes with it. This actually has a porcelain antenna inside, so there is no external antenna. And this is a micro, so you can run this anything from a mini racer, mini basher, mini crawler, all the way up to very large scale vehicles. So there is a trick to this, and I'm about to show you exactly what it is. So we're going to power on our Python Pro and Venom motor setup. Then what you have to do is you have to power cycle the receiver three times. So one, two, and three. So now it is in bind mode. And then we're going to power on our radio. Welcome to HTX. Stop. We are going to go to system. We are going to choose Express LRS. And then we are going to go back down to bind. And there we have it. It's just that easy. So as you can see, we have throttle and that is just a very simple, very easy way to bind up. And that is with any of their ER series. That's all you have to do to bind it up. Now the four in one, you have to follow the instructions 
of those particular receivers to bind them to the four and one remote, but that is how you bind up the MT12 Express LRS remote. All right, guys, the next thing I wanted to show you is actually the size difference in the receivers that you get from Radio Master. So this is the Spectrum SR215 that I had in my Mini B Pro. We're going to install this new Radio Master ER3CI in there. Now look at the size difference. This is literally half the size of the SR215, and this has an internal ceramic antenna. So I'm going to go ahead and get this installed, and we can check out the latency on this. All right, guys, now that we have our MT-12 bound up to our Mini-B Pro, I want to show you guys the low latency of this. So I've never had a transmitter and receiver with such quick response. So this is absolutely awesome. And with those ultra-small receivers for doing like Mini-B racing, Mini-Z racing, micro crawlers, mini crawlers, anything like that, those small receivers take up no space underneath the hood. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys are the RGB lights on this. So my standard is green, my three throttle is going to be blue and then my brake is going to be red and blue which is what they call the police mode so that is just another cool feature on the mt12 all right guys what are my final thoughts on the radio master mt12 express lrs remote this thing is an absolute home run it is groundbreaking for the rc surface world and let's talk about the pros and the cons so the pros are the fact that this remote has something for every type of surface vehicle so with the express lrs system you have ultra long range which is great for the speed run guys you have ultra low latency which is good for the racing guys and then you have a huge amount of mixing which is great for the guys that want to do crawling or the tanks or any other type of surface vehicle that has a lot of servo switches and lights on it. And then the fact that this thing is open source means that it can be upgraded and improved with the firmware over time. And it's already amazing right now. And then it is very high quality with the ball bearings and the hall sensors in it, the adjustability of the tension of the wheels and the trigger. It's just an amazing remote. And for $129, I don't know how companies like Futaba and other companies are even going to be able to compete with this remote. This is a 10 out of 10 for me, which I have never given anything a 10 out of 10. But this is one of those groundbreaking moments for RC with this remote that is going to change the industry. So the only con to this remote is that if you are a beginner and you're coming off of like an RTR remote and you have never set up and programmed a remote like this, there is a little bit of a learning curve to go along with it. But... The 49-page manual is very detailed and will explain in high detail how to do anything you want to do with this remote. And you can also contact Radio Master and their service department is very responsive to be able to get you to work with these vehicles. And then the fact that they have these micro receivers with no antenna that has a tiny little antenna inside it. There is no external antenna allows you to put these at anything from the size of micro stuff to large scale stuff and be able to control it from this remote. It, this one has 16 channels. The four in one, you can boost up to 32 channels. So that's just a huge amount of controllability from this surface remote. So I, I absolutely think it is a fantastic buy. I think that they, they could have charged twice to three times the price, $129. This is the steal of the century at that price. It's just unbelievable in my opinion. So don't forget to support your local hobby shops. Bash, crawl, repeat. Hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring the bell so you can catch my next video. We'll see you next time.